So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. We're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II today and update 1.05 that just went down. What exactly happened? What are the patch notes? And were there zombie changes? This is all going to be answered here in this video today. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you do learn something and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So a lot of things have happened. We're about a week out now from the launch of Call of Duty World War II, and zombies has been an awesome time. What we're going to be taking a look at today is a few different glitches, one in particular that is still working that I absolutely love. The other one's kind of sketchy, but we did have one patched, and that was the catwalk glitch. A large part of the community is actually guilty of using this catwalk glitch. It was over by the electric trap. I used it a bit myself. But, it's gone, it's in the past, and a lot of other things actually changed as well. But if we're going to talk about zombie changes specifically, we want to talk about the ending was actually fixed to the easter egg. You know there were pathing issues with Klaus, he would just keep walking into a wall. Now I guess he walks actually into the fire. He actually commits suicide, which means that he betrayed his sister, Marie. That's all I can gather from it. What I'm saying is the bonfire trap that sent spawn, well the one door outside of spawn into the courtyard that bonfire is where Klaus goes and he actually just walks straight into the bonfire and dies it's insane I'll definitely be sure to get you guys footage of that once I actually do complete it myself I've only beat the casual side of the easter egg, I've just been working a lot I do have an event going on tonight which is the Foo Fighters, I'm really pumped about that so I haven't seen them live in concert but I'll be working their actual concert, so maybe I'll get to meet them. If you do get around ever to follow me on Twitter, you might see a picture over there of my backstage pass. But what we're seeing right now is some changes, both in multiplayer and zombies. The zombies ones, not nearly as much as multiplayer. Not a lot was addressed in update 1.05. At about 12.30 a.m. Friday morning, double XP hit out of nowhere, and the entire community was shocked. Sledgehammer goes on to say, Please enjoy your first Call of Duty World War II double XP weekend on PS4 and Xbox One, which is live now through Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Which is great to hear, but if you're a Zombies player and you've lived through past experiences, you were wondering, hey, is it double XP for Zombies too? Is there a difference? Because it seems that sometimes multiplayer will get double XP and zombies won't. What turned out happening was that multiplayer actually only got the double XP. It was only when enough of us complained to the developers over on Twitter that we wanted double XP and zombies is too. It's not fair. And we actually got it about two and a half hours later. I'm grateful Sledgehammer, we just had to come in strong. Looking at the weapon tuning updates, it seemed that the weather toggle action shotgun was affected. These are buffs. The Bren was buffed and so is the MLG Bipod. Now nerfs, the Bar Rifle, which is a very depressing one, got decreased fire rate and widened hip fire spread. So if you do play multiplayer with the Bar, one of the most powerful weapons, it now did receive a very powerful nerf, which is upsetting. The STG, the FG-42, which are zombie weapons as well, all got nerfs along with the machine pistol, unfortunately. That is one of these starting weapons you can actually unlock it to become a starting weapon and buy it on the wall and spawn received a heavy nerf just so you guys know however the most important notes we want to hear about are the nazi zombie updates the zombie map exploit fix where clipping into a zombie spawn closet using revive mechanic and laboratory that would spawn you up into the upper building that was above where you could get double tap increased weapon damage you can no longer do that glitch okay we fixed clauses pathing and so, no longer will the ending of the main easter egg, the hardcore easter egg, be flawed. Fixed out of world exploit in the final Reich, not sure what that exactly means. But coming from the Tesla room to where you speed reload, you get that perk. I think people were glitching into that wall, and that might be the out of world glitch that they're talking about. I used to never be a fan of glitches, but ever since I started diving into the meta, this is something I absolutely wanted to document throughout the entirety of the season pass. First it started with the catwalk glitch. This is what it looked like. And now we have another glitch that I'm about to show you here today that is extremely awesome. The one we're gonna take a look at first is the one I told you before that was really sketchy. And that is around the corner here of the increased damage perk. You can get damaged by the boss zombies. So I just swear that this whole area is just cursed. 
Even when you went onto the staircase, went into quick revive, revived yourself up into the next floor, still, you could get downed by the boss zombies easily. So at least at this point, the double damage perked area, that's cursed in my opinion. But the Mac Daddy of all God Mode glitches is going to take place on that ledge up there. We're going to hit the bonfire trap, explode our way up to the top. And yes, it doesn't kill you, it barely does any damage to you, but that's the wall we're going to be aiming for when we drop down, alright? There's wooden walls, and it's the second one from the right, okay? That's the planks you're going to be looking at as you're moving forward. That will traject you forward, straight up onto this ledge. And the best advice anybody can give you with your trial and error is practice makes perfect. That's exactly how I learned to get up here, and that's exactly how you'll learn in-game is by trial and error, okay? Practice hitting that second wall on the right. Now it is double XP weekend, so this is the best time to grind as many ranks as you can get while you're going to the high waves. Now the high waves I would go for and aim for before you actually end the game is around 40. I didn't quite get to 40 on this game, I got to about 38. So where my stance on being against glitches used to be against it, now I believe it can be quite useful as they are limited time and so is double XP. So until this gets patched, you guys need to get out there and use this glitch to its full advantage. It's not your fault that it exists in the game, it's Sledgehammers. Part of what I do here on the channel is I cover patch notes through the entirety of the season pass. We just talk about what we're going through and what we're seeing, but it's none of our faults what we're experiencing in game. Completely, we are just players playing the game and we're trying to get as much as we can done with the limited time that we got in between work and what's happening in real life. Now there is a casual end to playing zombies here in World War II, and there is a hardcore end. And that hardcore end is seeking extreme amounts of loot. The early loot that we got in the pre-orders, you guys know of it, you've collected it, especially if you did pre-order the game. Maybe you didn't and you just picked up the game, what you're seeing now is a lack of weekly bounties. It's definitely something I want to see come to this. Of course we can't ignore the fact that zombie supply drops, earning that by rank by rank, is very limited and low. You may are not guaranteed it as you rank up. And that is something that I feel needs to be worked on a bit. When we beat the campaign, we absolutely got a campaign helmet, but it didn't come at the cost of difficulty. I beat it on veteran and everybody just gets a basic campaign helmet. That's where we're at. But perhaps the most unique thing I've seen yet is the zombies helmet that you can collect in multiplayer. This is for beating the Panzer Mordor and it is a zombie helmet we apply to our multiplayer character. Fortunately, you can't wear this in actual zombies. This is a multiplayer exclusive, but it is exclusive to zombies players only, so I really appreciate that that has been thought of in this game. But this game that we're seeing recorded here is actually taking place during the double XP weekend, so we will get to see that little feature here at the end during the after action report. But I'm telling you, get into the late 30s or early 30s even, and you're going to see some massive XP start ranking up. And we all know that we're on the grind to Prestige 1, 100%. Let me know how far you guys are right now. I'm currently at rank 32, just killing it, loving the vibes. It feels good up here. Which will lead us to the end of update 1.05. However, there will be game updates pushed out until we get an update 1.06. But until that time, Sledgehammer's working really hard to keep this game stable. They've been able to maintain the connectivity, but turning off dedicated servers. Currently, they're working to restore those dedicated servers, so then that way we have an overall better experience in the headquarters, which we're seeing as a solo experience. They've publicly announced this, but what they said to come is it will be filled in once they get those dedicated servers back online. But the fact that we had a public patch come out with patch notes on top of the server issues is a really good sign. It means that Sledgehammer's getting their act together and soon they'll be able to focus on some of the harder problems that we're seeing each and every day in the menu systems and the little bits and arguments that we have moving forward into the future. These things will be worked on and in time leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. But I know what you guys are all jonesing for. Oh yeah, you guys want calling card challenges and as well as weekly bounties. These are definitely things that we can need and encourage the community to move forward with. I absolutely agree with that, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Violent out.